This is going to be a quick video to show you what to do if while you're installing XAMPP on your computer you get a user access account control error. It is a very simple fix so don't fret. XAMPP spelled XAMPP is a free open source cross platform web server you can put on your computer. It works on Windows, Linux and Mac OS. It comes pre-installed with uh, PHP and PHP MyAdmin and has everything you need to run WordPress right on your computer. So the first thing you need to do is you just type XAMPP, X-A-M-P-P -P, in, in Google. And then the first thing that shows up should be their website, Apache, uh, ApacheFriends.org. Click the download button. Now to get the latest version for me, I, I it's a 64-bit, uh, eight, eight, eight X whatever, and it will start downloading. So okay, once it's downloaded, just go ahead and find it where that wherever you downloaded it at, and let's install it. And if you get a prompt to turn off your antivirus, go ahead and do it. It's safe. I'm going to go ahead and turn mine off real quick. So once you have your antivirus turned off, uh, go ahead and let's launch XAMPP. And you notice, and you notice we get this error here. Uh, because an activated user account control on your system, some functions of XAMPP are possibly restricted. So... If you get this error, just follow these steps. Type in uh, run, or excuse me, type in msconfig, and hit enter. And then once that opens up, click on tools, change UAC settings, launch, and Make sure yours is slid down to the bottom here, like mine is. And as long as it's on the bottom, it doesn't matter what the the what what it says from that point out. You're, you're good. You're golden. Okay. So we're going to continue to launch. We'll go next, and we don't want unless you're running a server on your computer to you know host websites over the internet. There's a lot of stuff you don't need installed like. FileZilla, Mercury Mail, Tomcat, Perl, Webalizer, and Fake Send Mail. So you have uh, MySQL or MySQL, however you want to pronounce it, Apache, uh, PHP, and PHP MyAdmin. That's what you need to run WordPress on your computer. So we're going, and notice here that it's going to install it directly into C. It's not going to go in your program folder or anything. It's good to leave it there. Just remember where it's at. And the neat thing about XAMPP is to uninstall it. There is no uninstall tool. You don't go to uninstall programs or anything. This is a complete isolated. It's not in your registry or anything like that. Nothing, none of the components are put in your registry. You can just go in and delete your XAMPP folder, and that gets it off your computer. There's nothing to uninstall. Just delete the folder. So, and click Next, Next, Next. And now, it's going to start installing. And once we finish, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck Start the Control Panel now. Finish. And then I'm just going to show you real quickly. You can go into your start panel. And you'll notice ZAMP's up here. You can pin it wherever you want to pin it. Whoops. I clicked it and started, didn't I? But I'm going to pin it to my start menu. And it's down here. So you can pin it. Pin it to your taskbar if you want. And your control panel is started. And you're good, you're good to go. ZAMP is now installed.